Now let's talk about you. How are you going to pick your research topic and plan your project? The first question, obvious as it might seem, is what do you want to research? Sometimes you or your organization have a very specific area of work. Maybe you work on labor issues or refugees. Even if you work on a wide range of subjects, one thing's for sure. Everyone has a limited amount of time, energy, and resources. You should pick your topic in a way that makes best use of your time and what makes the most impact. Sometimes you decide to focus on a topic that hasn't gotten much attention, if any. Basically, shining a light in a dark corner. But just because an issue is widely covered doesn't mean that you should avoid it. Sometimes it helps to add your voice to a chorus, giving an already visible issue even more visibility. You might be able to present a new bit of research that validates an already existing advocacy push. No matter what you decide to focus on, keep these three questions in mind. What do you want to achieve with the project? You should always know about the impact you can make and design your project for that goal. Number two, how is this work relevant and timely? And why should you care about this now? To maximize your impact, you need to make sure that you're able to get the right people to care about your issue. Timing can be everything. Number three, where can you best leverage your existing networks? When you have existing connections or relationship in a certain area, that is a pretty good indication that you will be able to produce good work in that area. And you always need to keep in mind any potential negative implications of a project. The first principle of human rights research and reporting is do no harm. Will your reporting inflame an already tense situation? Will you get someone in trouble and put them at risk in some way? Will you create an excuse for human rights perpetrators to further violate human rights? There are always security and strategic concerns with any human rights project. And the more dangerous and volatile a country you work in, the more pronounced these concerns are. So you always need to make sure the risks are minimized and the benefits of your work greatly outweigh the risks. Once you have a topic, you're going to want to think about what kind of research is best suited for your project. Most projects involve some level of secondary research. You will need to look at media reports and other human rights research. You will need to examine national laws, government policies, court documents, statistics and statements by officials to understand the underlying issues. But the best human rights reporting involves something new, some primary information. One way to get some primary information is by doing what is called testimony-based research. This involves interviewing individuals that can talk about a human rights violation they've witnessed or something that's happened to them. Testimony is great for showing violations of civil and political rights. You can use testimony to highlight an individual case, but you can also gather multiple testimonies revolving around a certain subject and demonstrate a pattern, trend, or larger human rights problem. You can also use testimony to demonstrate violations of economic and social rights, particularly when you want to show discrimination in access to economic and social rights. That's a lot of information, so we'll let it sink in a while and show you two campaigns for inspiration. Hopefully, they'll convince you that all of this hard work will pay off.